Welcome back, friends. Okay, on our koozie here, on our drink holder, we got our pig skin and leather glued together that we saw. Put some water on here with my sponge brush, and that's beginning to dry. We had our drawing that we made anything you want and I took my tracing paper and drew that image onto the tracing paper so what we'll do now is we'll set our leather in here and figure out where we want this image across this piece um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and put it about center there. Now you can see where we will make a cut after we're done. So I want to make sure that image is, is inside these lines here. And it is. So that looks pretty good. Now, you see, uh, if I were to put a piece of tape right here, that would ruin that leather my opinion it would it was making an ugly scar unnatural scar so what I'll do is <clears throat> get this pretty flat here keep anything from moving I'll come out here on the edge and put that tape and I'll get one more and put down here keep that anything from moving around we have our lucky charms helping us our sharpened pencil and I want to I want to trace this image onto the leather make an indention so I'm not gonna uh, take you through that uh, if you want to see me do that on another project check out this video here where you'll see how how that actually uh, you know step by step inch by inch how but basically what we're going to do is take our pencil and with slight pressure draw this image and after after that uh, you will see that it'll appear onto this wet leather so I'm going to do that and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty. We got our wet leather with uh, our impression. We drew on here with our pencil. Hope you can pick that up. Kind of pretty. So, what I want to start with is. Uh, I want to stamp some alphabet letters over here. So we're going to lay this, this piece of paper down to prevent our metal ruler from making any marks on our leather. And give us a little guide there. And we'll use our lucky weight and sit on there. If you didn't have the paper underneath, it's been my experience that this steel ruler will create a line <clears throat> that you don't want to see onto the leather. But that, that piece of paper keeps it lifted up just enough uh, and we can still have our ruler as a guide for our alphabet stamp and Lauren's name starts with L so here we go we've got our wooden hammer over here and you see it 
you see how I use the ruler here as a straight edge keep everything lined up and as a spacer you see my blue marks here to keep the letters is the same spacing and my weight will keep anything from moving around so just a few gentle taps with the a wooden hammer oh <clears throat> come move to my second blue mark making sure nothing's moved E. N. Alrighty. There's Lauren's name. Stamped into... the dampened leather so that's a permanent fixture and we're going to bring that to life with our antique finish <clears throat> everything's straight and the letters are evenly spaced so that's that's where that ruler comes in and there there was no indention of the ruler laying on this wet leather because of the paper just a little trick there if you lay this down and hammer on it, <clears throat> you're going to have a mark. Okay, now, <clears throat> uh, I want to take my knife and go and, and carve our little landscape. I got the tree and a couple of little uh, beech bushes. Got a couple of birds over here nice sunset and uh horizon and we'll add some more accents in there with our knife that we didn't need to do with our pencil uh just freehand off the cuff so to speak uh, i wanted to tell you about my lucky penny here so 1975 uh five five and a half years ago when i started doing any leather work uh, I use this penny to as we've seen on another video cut my corners to round my corners I've been using this penny for most every project since then this very one uh, so it is a lucky penny so there's that <clears throat> And we're going to use it on this uh, project as our sun. So I'm going to uh, find my knife. I'm going to polish the edge of my knife. And I'm going to let this dry another five minutes. And then we're going to carve carve this out live on TV okay we've got our swivel knife here uh, let's polish this edge up this is just a raw piece of scrap leather and I'll try to hold that angle of that edge straight and run it across that smooth leather there it's going to polish that very sharp, already very sharp blade. Just with a few strokes, uh, we're going to we're going to go and and get it to where if it was large enough, you would be able to see yourself in it. Mm -hmm. 
quite a bit of pressure here I'm putting on that uh, blade to really really get it to where it'll slide through that wet leather <clears throat> and make our turns that we'll need that's the, the most challenging part of uh, this carving is going to be turning that blade while it's in the wet leather you make a straight cut no problem but you'll run it out a few strokes on each side trying to keep the keep everything even on you know three strokes here and three strokes there on the other side so that right there is ready to do surgery on this dead cow <clears throat> normally I'd have a piece of copy paper underneath to, to move this thing around quite a bit but uh, this uh, St. Patty's week uh, green theme here I have going with this kerchief I'm going to leave it on the table and I'm going to uh, I'm going to try to do this without a sheet of paper underneath now I know that uh, some of you get upset about my bright light while I'm doing this but I want you to keep in mind that I can't I can't see well enough with just the camera light to to carve this because of the shadow of my hand or whatever I have to have this light uh, as I carve so if you want to see me carve it where, where it's really zoomed in and you can actually see what I'm cutting uh, you're gonna have to come see me <clears throat> so let's start And once again, this is four to five ounce thickness. And I'm going through less than a quarter inch in depth. I'm following the lines that I had made with my tracing paper and my pencil. maybe going about a quarter inch deep into that four to five ounce leather so excuse me a quarter of the way through it's only one eighth it's less than one eighth thick so I'm I'm going a quarter of that depth deep with my knife so that was pretty smooth uh, I want to draw this uh, this little bank here next and as we get ready to stop I'll lift the knife up as to not go so deep that'll be a cool little effect uh, as it is dried and finished so here we go and we'll take this all the way out and I'll lift up a little bit there okay now I'd like to do our horizon line or our horizontal line or whatever you want to call it I have a very lightweight plastic ruler here as to not uh, have marks in the leather up, up here of course we're going to have a a cut but I don't want any anything else and I'm going to start off with very light pressure and as I move along I'll dig on in as we did with our bank so I'm I'm going pretty deep here and I gotta stop before I get to the trunk of our tree and then I'll come to the other side 
and I'll go pretty deep and I'll come on through here I'm getting ready to stop so I'm gonna lift my knife up to almost barely touching it as I finish so there you go and and this will turn out really good at, as we apply our antique finish the we won't have a deep cut out here on the ends you know it's it's coming up it's uh something you just have to see it's marvelous all right <clears throat> let's do these little bushes here so uh, you can go freehand a little bit on this uh, we have a our marking on the leather but you can still fool around with it a little bit you don't have to stay perfectly on your lines that you have drawn and now I'll have to turn this to where it's comfortable to to uh, negotiate these curves on these little little twigs and sprouts up here and see how that knife will turn in in uh, in that wet leather because we've polished that edge and I will, I will need to turn this somewhat turn this leather somewhat to get that one done no problem once again this is why I normally have a piece of uh, slick paper underneath but she just uh, St. Patty's week. We're gonna go with the green. All right, now on the ends of these uh, sprouts or twigs, there's a little. I don't know if it's a flower or a, or what, but I'm sure you've seen them. It's got a little head out there on the end of it. Uh, may not look like much now but that antique finish will boy it makes everything stand out it's gonna be beautiful here and thinking that uh on lauren's uh 50th birthday which i got coming up soon i want to see her holding this thing i think she's got like 35 years to wait for that but anyhow Let's try to carve this sun. You know what? I'm going to have to uh, to use my paper here because I have to. I have to be able to turn this this thing to get this right. <clears throat> so I want to start here deep, and I want to stop there deep. One one swipe, one cut. If you try to do anything more than that, it's going to look ugly. This has to be pretty pristine out here. And this is where we're going to have to really uh, concentrate and stop our cut before we get into the ocean. <clears throat> so let's go here. Stay right on this line because it is a, a semicircle that we've drawn with our lucky penny. down and we're going to stop right there perfect okay let me let me get my get my freedom colors back out here all right so we got that done now we got to do the top of our tree here and then we'll do some accents and shadowing uh, So we've got our outline, our pattern, so to speak, and we'll just follow it. Pretty close here on the 
on the branches of the leaves. Pretty big leaves here. And nothing's ever perfect as we've mentioned. Uh, just kind of kind of make it pretty. Make it yours. I don't know if you noticed, but I, I barely laid my knife on that and the wet leather by mistake and it has made a, a mark but that's alright because I'm going to show you how to hide that here in just a second we're going to hide it I actually thought a while ago about uh, adding a four leaf clover onto this sucker. We might do that next. Matter of fact, my sister, along with Lauren, has mailed me a four leaf clover in the mail here over the last year. I may use it as a template and actually put that very shape onto here. I think I'm going to do that. So when I say we're going to hide that little nick that I accidentally made, here's how. Let's just go through and make some scratches here on these uh, big palm tree leaves. Just put some little indications of some, you know, it's alive. It's uh, Looks more like a, a real leaf, maybe blowing in the breeze. And there, see, we've just hidden. We've just hidden that uh, that mark that we accidentally put on there. So that gives it a little. Uh, I don't know. It just uh, a little something going on there. Now on this uh, on this trunk of this tree. I'm going to come through and make a lot of uh, semi-horizontal scratches to roughen it up and make it look <clears throat> like like one you would see on the beach, you know, or uh, downtown Las Vegas. You know, it's not a smooth bark tree for sure, so we're going to we're going to get in here and make some little radial scratches and uh Boy, when that antique finish sinks in here, really gonna be pretty. You won't tell it now. But the antique tells the tale. Alright, so see we just we basically freehanded half of that. And uh it's gonna be real nice. The, uh, the sun turned out to be not perfect, but it's going to be okay. Because we're, uh, we're creating things here. We're not a machine. We're uh, doing the best we can. Now, as, as you look at this sunset, I think what we would see here is uh, some shimmering of the, the waves and the the glare of that sun uh, coming down through this water as we we're standing about three miles from that horizon seems um, wait till the antique finishes this now that should really really be pretty okay so <clears throat> Let's make some accents right quick like I'm not going to do a whole lot on it like I said before in another one of my videos which you can see here. Uh, I'm not I'm not a professional on tooling leather. Uh, a lot of people would would tool and background camouflage this thing to where it is just amazing, it stands out, everything stands out. 
Uh, like I said, I'm not there yet. I'm, uh, I know how to do just a little bit of it, you know, to make it to where I like it. I don't, I'm not going to spend six hours tooling this landscape. Now, I may get there one day to where I'll spend, you know, the time to, to really make it over the top but for now this is what I'm comfortable with is, the, is just a little bit of accents same with the wallets and the belt and the drink holder so it's enough to uh, to make it stand out but it's just not over the top like a lot that you will see take more pleasure into uh, having Lauren enjoy this for what it is rather than trying to make something to sell you know I'm not in business on tooling I just I'm giving a gift to uh, a loved one so this tool this creates a uh, a little background, I guess you would call it, or accent, a shadow along some of the lines. I have made my mother a small card holder. It was not even a fold, folding wallet. It was just a your basic, basic minimalist card holder. A few years ago, and I, uh, I put a, I drew a deck of cards on hers because she's always been wanting to go out to Las Vegas and and live, retire. So uh, I'd be interested in seeing that little leather piece nowadays, see how it's holding up. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to put some more scratches in these little bushes here. Put one more here. What the heck? <clears throat> so yeah, we're drawing. We're uh, we're messing around with the knife. Uh, and I'll I'll probably come through here and put a little accent on the the bank here, the the sandbar. start out very light here because we here's where we were light with our knife and you see that leather is almost dry and we'll start going pretty hard here now to give that a little a volume okay so I forgot the birds uh, do us a couple little birds here off in the distance they could be three miles out more like a half a mile really put one over here I don't know if these are uh, seagulls or penguins or what but they're flying and then, like I said it may not look like much now but you hit it with that antique finish and uh, this thing's going to be beautiful. So I think that's all we're going to do with it. 
Uh, I'm still still thinking about putting the uh, four leaf clover on here. So let me think about that for a minute and go grab a cold drink. I'll be right back. Okay, the carving is complete. The tooling is complete. Um, turns out the, the little four leaf clover that Lauren and, and my sister has sent me was very, very small. And uh, it was almost impossible to, to get an outline on it. So I just freehanded a little uh, four leaf clover there with my knife and uh, you can see where I I came through with just a little accent there um, that should turn out way cool with the antique finish love that antique finish so you see our leathers uh, beginning to dry here so we gotta let it dry and then we'll talk about our finish Good day.